Have you always lived in Cobb County? No. Okay, will you explain how you got there then? Um... Go ahead, go okay. through your whole moving history, go for it. <laughs> okay, well, okay, I'm just going to go to the short version. I was born in, in North Carolina, we moved around a lot, and my sister was born in, um, in Atlanta, Georgia, and then at some point around, like, first, second grade, we lived in Ackworth, Georgia, which is, um, it's Cherokee County. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Cherokee County. And so then we lived, I lived in Ackworth, so I went through, like, Cherokee County schools, and then after that, around third grade, I started moving around every year, and by the time I got to high school, my parents wanted to settle down, and so, um, we kind of lived in Georgia, it was, like, a very economic place, but it was also, um, a bad, very good schools compared to some other places, but we didn't want to go exactly to where we had been before, and so my mom researched and found that the schools were really good in Cobb County, so that's where we settled down for the last seven-ish years. Gotcha. So, did you come, like, did your parents want to go to Cobb specifically for the schools then? Yeah, that's okay. why they came. Gotcha. Do you like it here compared, or in Cobb County compared to where, like, a bunch of the other places that you live? Because you lived in a lot of places. <laughs> yeah, I think I really like Georgia, um, Cobb County in general. I really like Harrison as, like, a high school experience. Mm-hmm. Um, and the place, like, Kennesaw is a really nice place to live. I think if we had to choose, we would have chosen between, like, Virginia. I love Virginia, but it's a lot more expensive to live there. So I think Georgia has kind of, like, the best of both worlds, and it's pretty great. Gotcha. Okay, cool. And you are not a homeowner, correct? No. Okay. And um, wh- how would you describe the type of structure that you live in in Cobb County? Like, is it like a house? Yes, it is a, I guess you would say like single family household. And it's um, two two stories with a basement, um, has four rooms, and it has a pretty nice um, front and backyard. The front yard's pretty big at the back one. Backyard's pretty small, non-existent. I don't know why. Non-existent. But the front yard's pretty nice. Um, so yeah. Okay. And uh, what would you say was the approximate date that you moved into your Cobb County home? It was. Um, actually, I know exactly the date. <laughs> it was October thirty first, two thousand eleven. Wow. Yeah, we moved on Halloween. We bought the house in August and moved in in. On like at night <laughs> while everyone's trick-or-treating that would be funny <laughs> no we got there we actually went trick-or-treating that very first day we oh that's in. funny yeah but we got there when the high schoolers were um getting back from school gotcha yeah. okay interesting anyway we're gonna move on <laughs> okay. oh yeah did you want a copy of your consent form by the way you don't have to have one if you don't want to i'm just required to ask if you want one it's fine. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to start talking about uh, solar in general now. So, um, do you have rooftop solar for your home? No, we have sunroof, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> um, tell me why you don't have rooftop solar. Is there any particular reason? Um, I mean, the house was built in the 1980s, and we bought it, and it didn't come with one, and it hasn't necessarily been a priority, so... Okay, gotcha. Did you make the decision to have solar or not have solar on your house, or was it made for you, basically? No, but yeah, like, by the time we bought the house, it was only, like, already, like, 20 years old, so... Gotcha. It just didn't come with any... Gotcha. So, like, was there any, like, after the fact that you bought the house, was there any, like, conscious decision on anyone's part, like, thinking about whether or not you wanted to adopt solar? Um, no. I think when we moved into the house, there was already enough work to do on the inside, and, um, it just never crossed it. It wasn't a conscious decision not to do it. It just never occurred. Gotcha. So, like, it just, like, wasn't thought of Mm -hmm. consciously. Gotcha. Okay. Well, if you um, had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Um, I think the biggest thing would be the cost of how much it would take to, like, install it. And mm-hmm. if it would be, obviously, beneficial to the planet, but if it would be beneficial, like, economically. Um, so, if there's a possibility. Okay. Um, why would you personally, like, let's say if you, like, had your own house, I guess, why would you personally want or not want solar power on your home? Mm. Personally, mm-hmm. I guess 
Like, what are the pros and cons to you? Well, the pros, it would be, it would lower energy expenses in the long run. And um, it would be more, I guess, more efficient energy, more um, environmentally friendly. The only con with it would be the, the money that would, would take to um, install whatever you need to install. Gotcha. Yeah. In your opinion, do you find that there are a lot of non-economic barriers to solar, like for you personally? No. Okay. No, I don't have anything against it. <laughs> I don't see why not if I had the money. Gotcha. Okay. So now we're going to look at some maps, okay. which I forgot to describe to you, but I will right now. <laughs> okay. So basically, we have these maps, and you're going to get one of Georgia, too. This one is of the U.S., obviously. And so on that map, you're just going to label uh, where you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes. And like you can draw and label however you want, and you can like label it with like words that you associate with those areas or like whatever, however you want to label it. So who I think has rooftop? Like who you think, where you think people have the most rooftop solar, like areas in the in U.S. The whole U.S. Well, you don't have to label just one area. You can label multiple areas and just like have different reasonings for why you chose certain areas. Wow. Okay. Like you can choose a, a, a good few places, like wherever you think that they, they would have it. Do you know the answer? <laughs> <laughs> it is not a quiz. This is based on your opinion. <laughs> I just wasn't even sure it's like an actual like in a comparison. Um, no one's gonna come out and make fun of you with actual knowledge. There's nothing like that. It's like actually you're wrong. <laughs> okay. You're done. Yes. Okay. So. Would you like to tell me why you labeled it like this? Yes. I like your circles. No one has done this so far. Really? <laughs> yeah. So basically, so I was thinking about these little circles. I think the biggest places that are going to have them are, I feel like rural places would have them, but I also feel like cities would have them because, you know, you're trying to maximize your energy, right? So, and then also cities are probably the places that are going to have the most money. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's why I put I don't know, somewhere around there, there's a big city. Atlanta. Maybe Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so basically that was the biggest thing. Like, you know, like, yeah, you know, like how, like, a lot of, like, um, hotels and stuff in, in um, big cities have, like, gardens at the top, and they're trying to be, like, eco-friendly? I think they would also have, like, innovators or engineers that would try to push that more than you would maybe in, like, a suburban area and things okay. like that. And then I circled this state in a big thing because um obviously I don't know exactly where on there they would be but I feel like also like on the opposite side of that like you know if you're more into like agriculture and things like that although they miss me yeah if, if there's like agriculture and things like that I feel like you would also want since you have like so much things to take so many things to take care of I feel like an additional energy source would also be very useful for them is that Colorado, by the way? Because I'm just, I'm bad at no, the West. <laughs> I think it's Colorado. There. Okay, so what state is that? Because I don't know. <laughs> Montana? Montana, maybe? Okay. I, this is Utah. Okay. I know that's Idaho. <laughs> yeah, so Utah, Idaho. I'm pretty sure this is Colorado. Yes. Okay, was there a reason that you chose Montana then, like, specifically, and also, like, the tiny... Uh, like city areas that you mentioned. This one I like because if it's too far north, I feel like they would have pretty harsh winters and wouldn't farm as much. I don't know. I feel like agriculturally, like just I was I almost drew a huge circle here, <laughs> but I feel like I you know like agriculturally, like this area is pretty you know pretty spread out because like Colorado has so many like just fields as well, and then this one because it's Atlanta. These are just big cities I thought of randomly. Okay, and was there a reason, like, what was your reasoning behind choosing big cities? Uh, well, like I was saying, big cities, I feel like they have more resources, and they also have to, because they have so many people in them, they have to find up 
find more creative ways to provide energy that would help lower the cost for them as well. Okay, because of, like, population? Because there's a lot more people? Because of population, yeah, because of population, um, they need to consider different energies, but because they have the money to consider those things, and then also, like I was saying, like, big cities are where they have the bigger thinkers, so I feel like you would have, like, more, like, especially, like, in Washington, D.C., I feel like you would have a lot of eco-friendly people there that okay. would try to change laws and things. Okay. And what makes the communities that you chose on the map, like, so different from people from Cobb County? Because they rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cobb County people are pretty rich. Well, they're not what you are. But um, what makes it different? I think just um, type of living. These are more um, urban areas. And this is, a, like, a rural area, whereas, like, Cobb County is a lot more suburban. Okay. So I feel like they're kind of, like, more, like, in the medium. Okay. So, like, what makes suburban areas, then, like, different in their mindset, I guess, from, like, the other people who would adopt solar? Um, I think they would... I don't think they would be as, like, they have a... Like, I don't think they would have an eco-friendly thinking. I think they would think more just about living comfortably, you know? Okay. And not instead of, like, kind of big picture type of thing. Like, I don't think that they would necessarily make a choice against it. I just think they don't consider it. Okay, so, like, a lack of knowledge kind of thing about solar? Or is there, like, some other thing coming into play there? Yeah, I guess you could say a lack of knowledge. a lack, Maybe, like, a lack of exposure to, like, how beneficial it can be or how much it actually costs to put them in there. Okay. So, do you think, like, further... Um, do people care, like, just as much as all the other areas that you labeled that would have solar, or no? Um, personally, I think they just don't care about it as much. Um, um, I feel like, in general, like, if it's not beneficial to them, they're just going to be like, Okay, is that like a convenience thing? Like, does that play into it? Yeah, yeah, I think you'd say a convenience thing. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so I think we're done with the U.S. map then. We're going to move on to the Georgia map. This one's a little more personal. (laughs) Um, okay, so it's pretty much the same exercise, so you're just going to label, um, the communities where you think people have the most solar within Georgia. I felt like I always thought Augusta was like up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> now so, we know. <laughs> now I know. The smarter, the more you know. Um, random question. I want to look up our state borough. State Statesboro. Borough. Yeah. But I think is Mercer and Macon. Wait, what? Is Mercer and Macon? Mercer University? I don't really don't know. <laughs> you could, like, write it out to the side if you, like, intend to be like, yeah, Mercer. Circle Mercer. <laughs> in the Circle side. Circle Mercer in my own made-up map. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Like, are you done? You can take as much time as you want to. No, I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I can't think of anywhere else. Alrighty. So, you circled close to Cobb County, if not actually Cobb oh, County. Look at that. <laughs> well, I was thinking mostly about, like, Fulton County with, like, Atlanta being included in it and Sandy okay. Springs. So, what was your reasoning for choosing it then? I feel like I'm saying the same things, but... You go for it, Jocelyn. <laughs> I was just saying, like, those are, like, bigger cities. They have, like, more resources and things like that, you know? And you know, like, how there's, like, really fancy houses and, like, Buckhead and things like that? I feel like maybe some of them would have solar energy. And then, like, Atlanta, like, you know, like, they have... One of the times when I went to, like, this Georgia Tech thing, they were, like, saying how, like, they want to make, like, this huge part in Atlanta that has, like, walkways and things like that, and I think, like, solar energy stuff, too, so that they can, um, make this city better. Gotcha. And then I also circled, I circled Athens a little bit, and I was going to circle Mercer, because I feel like in those places, you also have, like, you know, you have younger people who are more, um, sensitive to those type of things so I feel like they would also have a push and like um I don't know I feel like you know like 
more liberal people's thinking would be like, oh, you know, you want to protect this. We want to. I feel like students can also have a push towards acknowledging things like that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh, what makes the areas that you labeled like different from the rest of Georgia and Cobb County too? I guess. Well. I don't really know about the south half. I did live in Jessup, but I don't really know about the south half of Georgia, but I feel like they're a lot more. um, Go ahead, say it, (laughs) (laughs) Jess. I feel like they're just like a lot more like spread out. I feel like there's like, obviously I haven't been there as much, but I feel like there's like a, a different, like a cultural difference between the top half, which is like more suburban and an urban, whereas like the bottom half, it's more like spread out and okay kind of like, yeah you said a cultural difference is there anything in particular you were thinking about with that just more country you know like i don't know do we farm a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah I, I think in the i south. feel like in the south you know so i feel like if your house is i mean maybe they would have other solar energy stuff but like specifically rooftop maybe that's not as convenient for them if there's like they're so spread out Although, if they're so spread out and they can have their own little energy place right there, they're never going to miss out on energy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything more to say about the map? I was going to say, I don't know. I just feel like the second half, like, it's going to be harder for me to um, identify with it and kind of think about what they would think because I don't know that much about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, compared to, like, where you lived previously like in Georgia do you find there's differences between the mindset of Cobb County and the the other county well Cobb County and Cherokee County are pretty similar because they're like right there okay so and I don't remember Jessup as much so I can't really say that okay um what about some of your close friends that live here within Georgia Do, do you know anyone who has solar on their roofs like, not even just Cobb County, just, like, all of Georgia. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I don't think I do, no. Even in Atlanta? <laughs> even, I don't think I have any friends in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I make some friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you think that, um, like, the people that you know do or do not have solar? Um, I think it's kind of like what I was saying. I think it's more of a nobody's made a conscious decision to do it like even from like raging from like people who are more like not middle class but like who like live comfortably towards people who live like more on like the luxury side I just don't think they've ever thought about it and I don't think not that they don't care enough but they don't see enough benefit to go out of their way to to you know put them in gotcha do you know anyone in particular who has, like, strong opinions for or against solar? Like, are, do you know anyone who's, like, extremely averse to it? I don't know any, I don't think anybody's actually averse to it. I don't feel like you can come up, are you for it? I feel like, <laughs> I, feel like I know you because you're in ecology. That's true. <laughs> All questions will be answered after the interview. <laughs> well, no, I'm, it's not a question, but if I yeah. know anybody, I feel like you would be more passionate for that type of thing than my other friends. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing this, so... Yeah. <laughs> point. point. Point taken, taken there we go. <laughs> but, like, um, just, like, in general, do you feel like people, you know, like, would they have the mindset where they would want to help the environment, I guess? Or, like, are do you know people who are, like, extremely one side or the other? No, I don't, I don't know people who are against... Or who are really against it. I feel like people could move towards it, though. You know, I feel like people right now aren't towards it necessarily, but they aren't against it, but they would move towards it instead of against. Gotcha. That makes sense. Compared to... I'm going to talk about the U.S. map because I forgot to mention it then. <laughs> okay. But, um, like, how you lived in a bunch of different places in the U.S., too. Did you feel like... I know you were kind of young when you were there, but, like... Did you feel that people's mindsets were different in the different places you live compared to Cobb County? Or compared to Georgia in general? Um, I feel like Virginia would have been more open to it. Like, they, like, they also had, like, a lot of agriculture stuff while I was there, and they had very nice houses. And, um, I think I remember there, like, I feel like I could have thought of somebody there that had it, 
versus here. Gotcha. Yeah, in Louisiana, I don't think they would have done it. Not that they wouldn't have done it, but specifically where I was. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't meet anybody who was very environmentally friendly per se. Like they just kind of. It was a small town. Like, it was a super small town. I think that was not partly, you know, part of it. Like, I was saying, like, bigger places have, like, bigger people to push certain stuff. And it was a very small town. Gotcha. Did you know the downtown was a um, smoothie king? Downtown where? So, the little city where I lived. Uh-huh. Um, the downtown, like, you would look up downtown um, Geismer, and it was a smoothie king. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. So it was very small. I see. Yeah. That is very small. Yeah, I mean, we were like 20 minutes from Baton Rouge, so I mean, that was something. But mm-hmm. like the actual city where I lived, it was okay. super small. Interesting. Okay, so going back to like people that you personally know, um, what are some reasons that you think um, they would think of like pros and cons for solar power? Like what would they think? Or what do you think that they would think, rather? <laughs> what do I think that they would think? Um, I think that they would be for it. I think it, it may be money for them. Not, not that it wouldn't be a problem, but I don't think it would be necessarily an obstacle. I think they would just need to be convinced that it was time-worthy to do it, I think, would be the biggest thing. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Anything, anything else in relation to that? I don't think they have anything against it. Okay. Them. Yeah. Do you know um, anyone who had any particular experiences with solar power? Like, whether or not they actually had it on their house? Just, like, if they had experiences with solar? Not that I know of. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Did you have any experiences with solar? Just, like, in general? <laughs> well. <laughs> um... Normally, it's, like, very few places that I see it. Is this where I talk about what I told you? You can tell me okay, whatever you I'm gonna, want. I'm going to tell you. So, recently, mm-hmm. like, I don't know how long. It's been a week. It's been a week? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, like, a week and a half ago, I was in Colorado, and we went to this place um, I was visiting, and we went to this place called um, Horse Tooth Reservoir, mm-hmm. and they had a really big lake and big mountain, and it was super pretty, but the thing was, is, like, as we were driving on top of the mountain, it wasn't necessarily, like, in the mountains, it was, like, at the edge, so you could see down into the, t- the, <laughs> <laughs> the city, uh-huh. and, um, it was, it was, it, it stood out to me, because, you know, I was like, oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty, and then I asked my dad, I was like, what's that, and it just looked like a huge field of um solar panels i don't necessarily we were too far like up to see if um if they were like on a rooftop or if they were just solar panels like straight up on the floor Mm -hmm. but it was i don't think i've ever seen so many in one place and i I was it was really cool and i wondered um what you know they were for and it was in the um city um fort collins interesting yeah so it was really cool and i just wondered i was like oh you know it's innovative yeah Gotcha. But I haven't necessarily seen it. I don't feel like I'm high enough to see the rooftop <laughs> in Georgia. That's funny. Yes. <laughs> so have you seen, like, rooftops or, or, like, other types of solar in general, like, in other places? Or was it mainly just in Colorado? Uh, it was mainly just in Colorado. Here, I don't think I know anybody who has... I don't, I don't know anybody who has them. And I haven't necessarily seen them, per se, like... You know, back in my mind. Oh, look, there they are. Yeah. Although, maybe in a city. I feel like I've seen them in cities. Okay. Yes. But, like, in general, like, where you live and stuff, they're not, they're not like, really noticeable or anything. No, not that I've seen. Not yeah. in Kennesaw, at least. Okay. Well, I feel like I have one more question, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> um.